Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. I got a treat for you guys tonight. We are going to have kind of a mini glass and lesson. I'm doing this because uh, uh, a couple of, I know there's a couple people out there really anxious to see this. And dad's ain't quite ready. So this is what I did. Okay. I took my z finishing resin. Uh, this is, I love this stuff. This is the best stuff I've ever used for uh, uh, fiberglassing. But you got to make sure you get finishing resin. You cannot use 30 minute epoxy, 20 minute epoxy. A lot of that stuff people sell. That's, I think that's all it is. It's real thick and I just hate it. But this stuff here I love. Okay. And I have glassed many, many airplanes in my day. I'm talking more than you guys would probably ever believe, okay? And, uh, man, we battled pinholes forever. You know, one thing I hate is that first coat of primer, and you just see millions of pinholes. You know, I've tried everything. You know, we filled them with spot putty. You know, we tried to take our finger and daub them. And uh, I've got this refined pretty good, okay? What you have to avoid is using too much resin at one time okay uh, you know we know it's going to soak into our wood we know it's going to soak into our fiberglass uh, you know the, the trick is getting that happy medium uh, because if you put too much resin on there thinking you know you don't scrape it off very good and you're thinking well the wood will soak it up it won't what it'll do is it'll make that glass float on top of your wood a lot of times that's where them little ridges come from and anytime you get puddles of resin it will set up faster there than where you got it thin and you'll be working them you know later on when you see them ripples and you try and work them out it just don't work okay so pay attention I took my z epoxy and I put a coat of resin on there Okay, I scraped it down. I kind of put it on there heavy and kind of sm smeared it around and without no fiberglass and you let that set for like 10 minutes. Okay, so you want that to soak into that wood. You want that wood saturated, but not to overdo it. Okay, then we come in here with our cloth. Now this is like a, a two ounce cloth. You know, a lot of that stuff you get at the hobby stores, like, you know, three-quarter ounce. It's uh, quite a bit lighter than this. I bought this off a friend of mine, got this at, like, Boeing Surplus. He got a big old huge roll. See that roll of fiberglass cloth? That was a lot bigger than that when I got it. But I've had that for, like, 15 years. And uh, I, bet, I bet I've glassed 50 airplanes. That is no kidding. You know, uh, I've, I've built a lot of planes, a lot of build jobs, a lot for myself, but uh, and I still got a bunch left. That was the best $400 I ever spent. Okay. Now, I got me some resin mixed up here, and uh, you just want to take it and leave it kind of thick at first. Because you want you because it's going to soak into that fiberglass cloth, okay. But we, what we don't want to do here is just really cake it on really heavy because it will make that glass lift. And also, another important thing is to get your edges, make sure you go out a little bit past your edge. And we just want to work that. Now it's kind of cold, so you know you got to do do a small piece, like a stab or a rudder, and kind of see how fast it's setting up. Because after I do this, we ain't done. up a little bit more yeah we'll have to do that other stuff 
But we've tried several different ways to do this. Me and a couple of buddies, and we've experimented. You know, we've tried uh, thinning it and painting it with a brush. Oh, don't do that. Unless you want to sand and sand for days just to get your resin smooth. So you can see where that cloth is kind of lifting a little bit. And right now is where you want to take care of it. You want to kind of put a little bit of pressure on it, not too much. You don't want to scrape it all out, then you'll get dry spots. When you scrape it too hard, and especially if you don't put that first coat on that wood, you'll end up with dry spots. When, once the epoxy dries, you can uh, see your cloth. And uh, it just kind of turns a, a light shade of white. I mean, you can see it. And if you just paint over it, you'll end up with a bubble. You'll have to go in there and repair it. And... Oh, there's the phone. Hold on. I'll have to call him back. That was my buddy. Now you just kind of want to scrape it down a little bit. And put your excess in your cup. See how kind of, you know, you see it's a different color now. That's because you kind of aerated it and it's got some oxygen in it. That's all that is. But you want to kind of, you want to scrape it down. You do not want to leave a bunch of resin. Or what? It'll lift. And you know, I found this uh, method to be, well, I mean, you got to fill them pinholes with something. And I think when you're using primer, you're actually, you're going to use way too much primer. And it's going to make it heavy. And uh, also, uh, primer is expensive, man. And I don't like to do that three or four coats of primer stuff if I'm glassing the plane. I can get it ready to paint with two two uh, coats of primer. Okay, see how that is? And there's no pooling. Now you can really tell if you got enough. When you go across it like that, and it's not leaving it on the edges, you know, it's pretty much picked it up. But you don't want to just press real hard to get it all. Okay. Now we come to the next stage of the process, okay? We want to let that set about an hour and a half, okay? We want it to set up like this. Okay, I did this a little while ago. It's tacky, but it ain't really leaving no resin on my fingers. I know what you guys are thinking. How did, what happened to that dark spot? When I, left, when I let it sit over there like that other one is, unglassed, for a couple, three days, it kind of warped. So I was heating it up on that little propane heater right there. And uh, I got I just stopped for a second on that balsa wood and uh, left it a little scorched. <laughs> but that's hot. That yeah, took me some screws and I screwed this down. And uh, well, folks, how about used up this 10 minutes? I like using this 10 minute thing, though it downloads really fast. So I'm going to make another video and uh, show you how to do this second stage. We'll see you in just a few minutes.